What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel where I give you daily Skyrim guides. In this particular guide I will be showing you how to obtain the Black Star or Azura Star depending on how you complete the quest. Basically, a long story short, the Black Star is the best option. Now let me tell you what it does and why. The Black Star is a reusable soul gem. So usually when you enchant something using a normal soul gem, as an enchanting altar, or you refill a weapon's enchantment, it will actually destroy the soul gem after you've used up its soul. But the Black Star won't ever be destroyed. You can use it as many times as you like. It can also be filled with any type of soul from any enemy in the game. And the easiest way to get grand souls, the most powerful type of soul, is by simply killing human enemies. And for this reason, it is considered to be an amazing asset for leveling your enchanting skill quickly. And guys, the Black Star also counts as a Daedric artifact that goes towards the Oblivion Walker achievement or trophy. So now guys, let me show you how to actually get this infinitely useful Daedric artifact. So to start this quest, we must first come here on the map to the Shrine of Azura, which is south from the College of Winterhold, just here. Look at that. Beautiful. Not you, Lydia. The Shrine of Azura, which is just up this hill here on this giant stone plinth. Literally, you can probably look at this location from almost anywhere in Skyrim and you'll find it. It's just not a hard location to find. So let's go up the stairs here and we need to speak to one of Azura's followers, this lady here. Hello there. Azura has seen your coming, Traveller. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Is that so? Seen my coming, eh? What do you mean? Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Very well. What does Azura need? You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. And we have started the quest, the Black Star, and this person's face is kind of creepy. I can just see her eyes kind of scaring me a little bit. Are you all alone here? Yes, there were others at first, but Azura's visions tested everyone's faith. One by one, they left, afraid to know their own future. But I refuse to abandon the shrine. The visions are a gift. Azura warns me of tragedy, war, death, before it happens. I won't leave her guidance. What's the point in having her guidance if you have no one to tell? I'd like to know more about Azura. She is the goddess of dawn and dusk. Azura sees into the twilight of the future and guides her followers. Very well. We must now go to Winterhold, which is just here, because that is where we will find the mage. And I'm pretty sure we will find this mage in the frozen hearth. So let's head on inside the... Hopefully it's the warm hearth because uh, I'm pretty chilly out here. I don't really know anyone at the college. I guess everyone just assumes I... Any mage looking characters over here? Hello? Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep Hello? I can't see any mate. Ah! Something to eat. Well, you look awfully suspicious. My days at the college are long behind me, ah. but I prefer to stay close by. Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his ear. Well, you're a bit of a savage, aren't you? But I'm looking for an elven mage who studies the stars. I think that might be you. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be so no we have a questions. few options here. We can either bribe him, we can persuade him, or um, we can intimidate him. 
So I'm going to go for the Persuade option. A priest of Azora has sent me here. You're working with the Daedra? Right. Now tell me the one about the Argonian Maid and the Lusty Baron. Ha! Good one. He didn't believe it. So we're going to, going to intimidate him. Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. What do you know about soul gems? Uh, soul gems. Why are you asking? That's what caused all the trouble. Soul gems are used in enchanting, but they break afterwards. Except one. Azura's Star. A Daedrit artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. What did Malin do? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illinolta's deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star. But don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Interesting. So how does Azura's star actually work? I mentioned how the star is a soul gem. Only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before. Well, I already told you. Indeed you did. How did the Daedra drive Malin insane, though? Azura is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student. And in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. A terrific moment of inspiration. It sounds like Malin got what was coming to it. The college would agree with you. But do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see mm. fit. So you can also buy soul gems from him, but of course, after this quest, we will no longer need any soul gems. Wahaha. All right then, Lydia. Come on, we are going to Ilania's Deep, which is consequently one of my favorite dungeons in the entire game. So let's go over to this location. Let's go all the way south, and then we must keep going south, and then go south some more. And then you will see Riverwood just here. From Riverwood, follow the river upstream, go past the Guardian Stones, and keep going until you hit the Lady Stone in the middle of the lake. Just above it, you'll find the castle that we need to travel to. And guys, if you remember earlier, the Dark Elf we first spoke to at the Shrine of Azura said that the location of the star was endangered by water, yet untouched by it. And that was kind of like a riddle for Ilinasa's Deep. As you can see, it's a flooded castle. And this is one of my favorite locations in the game. I just think this dungeon is so unique and awesome. So I can't wait to explore it with you guys. So I'll be showing you guys all the chests. And if you're wondering why I was standing on a rock just then, because there's a goddamn, there he is. There's that damn mud crab. Get wrecked, son. Get absolutely wrecked. Give me your bloody mud crab meat and your legs. I'm going to harvest them and eat them later. Anyway. Let's uh, walk across this bridge here, and the entrance to the castle is here. But, my friends, there is actually a secret chest over here. So first... Oh, there's a deer over there, though. There's a deer, guys. We've got to kill that deer. That deer can't get away. I will show you the chest in a moment, but this is kind of much more important now, isn't it? Let's be honest. Oh, okay. Apparently... Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, no. Kind of want to reload the save, but... Let's go underwater just here, and there is a secret chest. How mysterious. Now, you may have noticed that all the lights in the castle are not on, apart from this one light here, which is a bit mysterious, and it kind of tells us maybe there's someone inside there. Maybe, ESO. Maybe. So we're just going to jump up here now and go through this trap door. Lydia, what the hell are you... Lydia! Lydia! What the... Okay, we'll just leave you to it, Lydia. We're going to go inside. Ilanata's deep. This is one of the coolest entrances to a dungeon ever. Here we go. Look at that. 
That looks so cool. It just says, like, you don't want to come in here, guys. Lydia, we're going to have to be sneaky here, okay? I know you're not very good at the sneaky stuff, but we're going to have to be a bit sneaky. Because there are some very powerful mages in this next area we're going to walk into. I've never seen anything quite like that. Oh, it's just a waterfall, Lydia. This is what happens when something's flooded. Like, come on now. Let's just head down this corridor and we will see a mage on our right in the next room. So take care. I'm just going to draw my arrow for Lydia. I've got a bad feeling about this. Lydia, you've got a bad feeling about every dungeon we walk into. You can't say that all the time. There's a skeleton there, but we want to take out the mage. Who I think might be in the... Ah, here we go. It's hiding behind the... Oh, no! It hit an invisible wall. Get Rexa. Now he's dead. And the skeleton. <laughs> just rearrange the um, the skeleton's body parts there. It just falls apart as it gets hit by the arrow. So let's go over to this novice necromancer and we can take his robes. That don't really weigh anything, but obviously... Oh, a human heart. I'm going to eat that later because I'm a fucking savage. Isn't that right, Lydia? Look, this is the arrow that missed that guy. <laughs> What? It's not, even, it's not even stuck in anything. <laughs> okay, let's carry on, guys. Let's continue onwards. I do believe there are a few people eating a candlelit dinner with some flowers on the table. Two women. Am I walking in on something here, ladies? We're going to shoot them with our arrows. There we go. Get Rex on. Pretty easy to do that because they are sitting down. And the issue is when you're sitting down in a chair, you... You have to stand up before you can do anything, so it's pretty prime for sneak attacks. Isn't that right, Lyd Lydia? Lydia, where's she gone? Oh well, we can do this without Lydia. We'll only need her help later. There is a skeleton here, and he's just doing some cooking. So we're gonna wreck him right now. Just completely destroy him there. And there's a potion of health and a potion of water breathing, which you need to pick up because there is a secret chest that's hidden underwater. Um, so obviously you need that potion in order to acquire it. Oh, and guys, if you have not already, please make sure you smash that subscribe button because I've got tons more daily Skyrim video guides coming out very soon that you will not want to miss. As you can see, this whole dungeon is pretty much flooded and this room is even overflowing. And you can actually see a skeleton over there, but I'm gonna try and take out this mage just here, an adept necromancer indeed. Oh, a skeleton blocked my shot there. There we go. Oh, right in the butt hole. Oh my god. He is not going to recover from that one anytime soon. And there's another skeleton here. Things about us, uh, the thing is about skeletons is that they don't actually level with you, so they are very weak as you level up in the game. At level one, they're like a mediocre threat at best. But anyway, guys, this is why we need the potion of water breathing. So we're going to get it out right now. And we're going to swig it. Jesus, how many potions do I have? Potion of water breathing. Here we go. Okay, so take that. Now we can breathe underwater. And of course, we're going to swim down this underwater corridor here. You can do this without the potion. It's just easier. Oh my god. Usually this chest is good. It has 15 gold in. Lydia. Oh, Lydia's not come down here. We might as well just sleep here and kill ourselves. With that terrible treasure chest we just unlocked there. Oh my god. Lydia just comes out of the darkness like a crazy crazy lady yeah so we can just swim up the stairs here guys i think yeah there is another treasure chest here flawless garnet <laughs> there's more treasure in that than there was in the previous one which just doesn't seem to make sense to me guys this guy man he got wrecked Let's take his robes i like to strip all the majors naked before leaving any castle And let's go into the next area now. So I do believe there is quite a few mages up ahead. So you're going to have to take care. Especially depending on what level you are. Uh -huh, here he is. We're going to take out this person on the chair first. Oh, Jesus. Got stuck in the invisible wall again. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Don't see me. Don't see me. Please, please, please. What is she doing? She's like moonwalking backwards here. Get Rex on. Let's pick up their robes as well. 
Is she getting... Oh, I thought she was getting, like, reanimated. Oh, Jesus, there's someone else here. Oh, she does a lot of damage. This is the problem when a necromancer sees you. They're going to do a ton of damage to you. And that's going to hurt a lot. So I might need to help Lydia out here by um, giving her a bit of a push. There we go. I, I feel like that definitely helps her out. Take out this skeleton. He's kind of in the way there. Oh, God, Lydia. Don't die. I want to take out this mage before she kills me in, like, one shot. I'm pretty sure Lydia just, like... Oh, my God, Lydia. You're a fucking beast. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Walk oh, yeah. That's it. Flex your muscles. Show off. Well, to be honest, Lydia, that was pretty amazing what you just did there. We're all very impressed. Robes of quickening. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. Standard black mage robes, Lydia. So, there is an enchanting altar here. There should also be some loot around here. Potion of extra magicka. So very useful for me and Lydia to have that. Not really, just joking. If we come into this next... Oh, does she have a key, I wonder? No, 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 no. There is a, a book called A Tragedy in Black, which is a enchanting skill book. So you can take that if you want, because it's like worth 50 gold. I am a genius, so I'm just going to leave it there. But we're going to have to lockpick this one, I think. I don't remember where the key is. So, should just be... A yeah, there we go. Usually we break lockpicks in this game, but... Oh, no one's asleep, so I can just walk in here and loot this chest. Elven gauntlets, we already have them. Some soul gems and more potions of magicka. More potions! There's so many potions of magicka. What a useless thing for me to discover. But we're going to take these frost and fire salts, guys. And I also want to look in the apothecary satchel. Uh, okay, nothing great in there. Right, let's carry on then. I believe we're doing quite well so far. Lydia... Be careful. There's also another secret in this room as well. An underwater secret indeed. So basically, guys, if we swim underwater here, we can unlock this door. Because this is where the real treasure is. If you can open the door, that is. I, for one, cannot. Oh my... Are you kidding? Ah, okay, okay. There. Oh, no, there. Yes. Thank you. And here, another treasure chest, hidden underwater. And some more mage robes. And some coin- Oh, a healing potion. That's actually going to be useful to me. Okay, Lydia. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you, like, looking at the ground like that? We have some more soul gems on here. Which aren't really worth taking. But there is a boss chest, which I'm, of course, going to take with this elven helmet in. A uh, necklace of increased fire resistance by 40%. It's going to be damn useful. Oh, I forgot about this. Can't really see how that helps me at all, but we're going to go through this door here. Because this is the next area we need to visit. So if we just carry on down here. I do think there might be another enemy around this area. When we go up the stairs, at least. This is basically just a store room, uh, sort of closet with some stuff in it. Just want to show you quickly, because this potion here... Ah, uh, it's a potion of the healer, but sometimes it will actually be helpful to you. Like, it might be fortify one-handed or fortify archery. And that can be quite useful. So hopefully we can uh, get rid of these next guys by just giving them a quick sneak attack. Because this is the area we came in into when we first visited it. But now, we need to go into the next section of the dungeon. All these bookshelves are empty, Lydia. And we can actually see there's a bloody river running through this area. So let's go and follow this river and see what the deluge is all about. So there's a lantern here, which means trickery is about. Trickery is afoot. Our souls are needed for the star. The last one died before it could be harvested. We can't take another villager from the surface so soon. I told you to prepare everything properly. We can just sacrifice another disciple. Apprentice Erlen will be no great waste. Yes, he'll do. So they're plotting about new souls to use for the star. And we're just going to put them out of their misery. I feel like this person here is going to be the weaker one. So we'll take her out in like one shot. Oh, Jesus, we actually did take her out in one shot. 
And this guy, is he novice? Yeah, he's a novice necromancer. Oh, easy. Oh my god, he tried to reanimate her. She's doing like some next star sort of... Oh, hello. Uh, that was uh, exciting to watch, but she's pretty much dead. And we can loot... Oh, harvest blood. Ah, we need to do that for the quest. Because he is a dark elf. And then we have the Doors of Oblivion, which is a conjuration skill book. I'm not going to read that. I don't need conjuration skills. I am beyond that. Let's just come through this door here and grab this potion. Any other interesting books here? No, I don't think so. Just so Oh, some stamina potions. Thank you. Finally. Finally, Lydia. Something we can use. And there's also a chest here, so don't forget to get this. It's quite easy to miss. It's kind of hidden behind that pillar there. Right, so let's continue onwards. I think there's like a prison down here. Because, of course, this used to be a castle, so... Yeah, here we go. A prison. Take out this necromancer with our mad sneak attack skills. Then this archer with a bow who's just running at me like some blind savage. Literally has no eyes, so I guess he is blind. But um, I can't. I don't think there is anything in either of these uh, prison cells. But I'm just going to quickly check that. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's get this guy's robes. He also had an orcish dagger there, but we've got an elven one already, so kind of don't need that. Aha! Here is the boss. I wonder if this guy has any dialogue like the uh, last ones. Oh, I wanted to try and pickpocket him, but that's that's not gone to plan at all. Okay, Lydia, you're up. Get in there and be a tank for me. Tank all the damage. And I'll take this annoying skeleton archer out that's not really doing anything. Lydia's just uh, being a savage. Oh, man, Lydia. I'm just going to shoot him in the ass there because I'm also a savage. Take his robes. Lydia, our quest to strip all these mages naked is going very well. And once again, this must be underwater. This Jesus Christ, what's happened to the wall here? It's having a spasm. Yeah, I was going to say this must be one of the underwater sections of the dungeon because, of course... We can go underwater here and find another secret. I thought there was a chest here. There are some skeletons. I guess this could be where they buried the people that they used for the um, for the the Azura Star Black Soul Gem rituals. I believe so, anyway. And here we have it, my friend. Azura's Broken Star. So, we have a choice now. We can bring the star to two possible people. And I'll talk about that in a second. But this is one of the bandits they were using to um, obviously try and use it on the star. This is Malin Varan. <laughs> but there is this book here called Malin Varan's Grimoire. And we can actually read this because it's very interesting. The Black Star. An Achievement of Magic Over Daedra by Malin Varan, Master Enchanter, who is now dead. This is the only version of this book that exists in the game. Though some scoffed, some scorned, at the very notion of experimenting on a Daedric artifact, I have succeeded where the ignorant and superstitious would not even dare to try. The Black Star, my achievement over the Daedric Lord, Azura. A re-envisioning, a remastering of the ultimate soul jet. It shall become a vessel of my immortality. Final proof that mortals can live as indefinitely as the demises of oblivion. The visions, the voices that Azura has sent me. While some call me mad, I know the truth. Nothing can be held sacred in the pursuit of advancing the very nature of magic itself. Let the Daedra send their foul images into my mind. They have given me the burning desire and unrelenting discipline to shut out all influence and morality. But my disciples and I have built a new site free of the prying eyes of those primitive minds in Winterhold. Fort Linata, we have been conducting a few minor experiments before our exile, some of which led to the disruption of the island. But a few enchantments have kept the ruins intact, and beneath the waters of Lake Lenata has been the perfect place for the final phase of the Black Star. And here is the boss chest we can now loot. A leather helmet, just what I wanted. 
All right, stuff of the familiar. Yeah, I don't actually need any of this stuff. How useless. Let's exit the dungeon. And while we sit and admire this view of, of Lake Lil Nata, let me just explain the next choice that we have to make. Because you can either deliver Azura's broken star back to Arana, who we met at the shrine of Azura at the start, and she'll give you Azura's star, or alternatively, we can give it back to Nelikar, who we met in the frozen hearth, and that will give you the black star. The Black Star is basically a much better version than Azura's Star because you can trap both White Souls and Black Souls. So if you kill humans or animals, they can both be used to fill the Black Star, while the other one will not work on humans. So now we're going to fast travel back to Winterhold and talk to Nelikar. I told you what you wanted to know. What else could you want? Stendar's mercy. You found it. Azora's star. Maybe this is my chance to make things right. I can finish Malin's work the way we had meant to before his madness. It would mean cutting the star off from Azora. Only black souls would be able to enter it once we finished. Now even though he says only black souls will be able to enter it, it doesn't matter. Due to a bug, both black and white souls can enter it. So let's do it. Give me a minute to examine the star. I'll see what we'll need to do. These fissures and cracks aren't encouraging. Malin obviously was growing more desperate once he left the college. He did it! He actually managed to trap his own soul inside the star, but it's falling apart. It needs more and more souls to sustain itself. The star is being used to sustain Malin's soul. I can't fix it while that fragment of him is inside. So we need to deal with Malin somehow. Precisely. But it's not as simple as enchanting Malin away. He's put up barriers. Souls are only allowed in, not out. If we were to... somehow... send a soul inside the star... One that was ready to overpower Malin from the inside. I don't like where this is going. So you want to send my soul inside, don't you? A special type of soul trap. Placing you inside the star without fully killing you. Once Malin has been dealt with, I'll bring you back. I understand if you need some time to prepare. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, so this is pretty awesome, guys. But we can ask him some more questions to get an idea for this. What do I do once I'm inside? Malin's soul should be in the star. Theoretically, purging him will be just like killing a ghost anywhere else. I'll have a magical tether to your soul while you're inside. Once you're done, it'll be as simple as pulling you back into your body. So what's from... So what's to keep me from ending up like Malin? Malin's soul is beyond hope because his body is dead. But I'll be keeping you just slightly alive on this end. But be careful. If you die inside the star, your soul will be disrupted. There's nothing anyone can do for you if that happens. Okay, I am ready to enter the star. Okay, stand very still. This might sting. First, I'll need to grab hold of your soul. Now, take a deep breath. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good, I was getting it. Hungry. Why? There's something different about you. This experiment of yours is over! You can't escape your fate, Malin. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. His realm? Like, does he think this is a plane of oblivion or something? This is going to be quite a difficult battle because we don't have Lydia to absorb all the damage for us. And we're going to have to take out these Daedra as we go. I'm just going to be careful here. I don't want to get wrecked by their fireballs. Oh god! I'm getting wrecked. He's almost down. We've got one dead. One dead Daedra. Let's take out the other guy now. Oh! Steady there, bro. Oh. It's pretty cool that you can kill Daedras. Um, I'm guessing they're going to have Daedric hearts on them, which is 
quite a rare ingredient. Oh my god, he's healing himself. How dare you. Oh, don't come up here because I'm pretty sure that's a fight you'll probably win, mate. Okay, I killed that guy. And let's take this last guy out. Oh my god, I'm going to die here. Jesus. Get Rex on. Okay, they're dead. Let's, um, let me heal myself so I don't die. <laughs> so here we go, guys. We have the Dremora. And he does have a Daedric Harp. And also some crappy iron and steel weapons. That's all of them. So now we need to find Malin himself. I'm guessing he's run off because he's a complete and utter wussy. Where have you gone, Malin? I'm here to end this. We can actually go into sneak mode here and get some sneak attacks. Sick. It's going to help me out immensely. He's actually hiding down there. Look at him. Oh, get wrecked. Look at him. Oh. Hey, get wrecked, son. Not like this. Not like this. Malin's enchantments are broken. Hold on. I'm going to pull your soul out of there. Brace yourself. He does have a staff of sparks, so make sure you grab it before he pulls your soul out of there. Here we go. Teleported back to the end now. And guys, I forgot to mention this before. Easy there. The numbness will pass. Just don't strain yourself. We've done it. The star has been cut from Azora, and Malin's soul finally has some measure of peace, even if it is non-existence. What do we do with it now? <laughs> if it's fixed, then it's mine. Go ahead, take it. I'd sooner finally put this chapter of my life behind me. Congratulations. You've altered the fate of a Daedric artifact and lived. What I was about to say before this peasant rudely interrupted me, was the staff of arcane time. authority is just here under the table so make sure you grab that because then you can just sell it or use it whatever you want and that concludes the quest you now have the black star so congratulations if you check out the description right now you can find Let my playlist on where to find need. all of the daedric artifacts so you can get the oblivion walker achievement or trophy and don't forget guys you can also follow me on facebook instagram and twitter the links for that are down below in the description because i post all all my videos there so you'll never miss a video if you do that but thanks again for watching guys my name is ESO and I will see you loyal subscriber in the next Skyrim video guide have a fantastic day and goodbye don't forget that you can receive text and or email notifications from my channel every time I release a new video underneath the video just hit subscribe and then hit the bell next to it you will now get notified as soon as I release a new video. Welcome to the ESO squad, guys.